We literally discovered a coin vault in an abandoned laundromat. My crew called me so excited. I want to show you how much we found. And I'm really excited about the money we found in these coin vaults. Alright guys, do you remember this laundromat? It's under the bridge and we did a video series a while back with Danny D'Angelo regarding just how much of a disaster this place is. That's a big giant rat. That sounded like a rat. That has to be a rat. Anyways, I bought it several years ago. I've done a few, but not a lot of YouTube videos on it, just because I'm kind of genuinely embarrassed about how bad of shape this place is. Now, on one of my prior videos, I talked about the fact that I'm actually selling this with some financing in place to a guy that works for me. So we're about ready to finally exit this location. And Justin that works for me found a $300 Mountain Dew machine he put it in front, and he's making a pretty good bit of money off of it. So if you haven't watched that video yet with Justin here, you should go back on my YouTube channel and take a look at it because he's doing really well with a $300 vending machine in what I consider a pretty bad location. And we did a coin collection and money collection on that video and it's pretty cool. Anyway, after Danny D'Angelo came to this laundromat and gave me it as rundown, we've kind of really put it on the very far back burner. And by that, I mean it's just not going to make money for us being located under the bridge as far as the equipment and the laundromat goes. We really didn't do anything anything with the equipment in here because we just have so much work other places to do. Well, long story short, the other guy that works for me, Shane, he wanted to get some of the equipment out of here and start his own vending business. And I figured, hey, since we're going to sell this location to another guy that works for me and he's going to turn it most likely into apartments rather than a full-on laundromat, which then would compete with me, why don't we just give it to the worker for me? And if you refer back to this video that no one watched on YouTube way before I was somewhat famous, um, we showed the condition of the laundromat, but we just didn't deal with it, um, which is kind of crazy in hindsight, but there was so much equipment in here that we ended up moving to my primary laundromat, the one that's making pretty good money right now. Anyway, there were two machines in here that we just didn't think about. This is a Dixie Narco 7... 276 and it's worth probably 200 bucks in this location. It's kind of a wreck, but my maintenance guy said, hey, can I have the vending machines out of here? And we just, I, you know, I just said, told him, hey, if you want the machines, you can have them. Just go pick them up. Well, there's something interesting going on here. Beyond being full of pop that has been abandoned for 10 years, we checked the date. Some go back as far as 2008 in terms of the expiration dates, and the machines are dirty. They still work. So my employee, he came over and he took a band, a bandsaw or a drill, or he took some sort of machine and cut open the locks on these machines and gave me a very, very excited, Brandon, you've got to come here and see these machines. These free machines that I'm giving to him that he's going to have to fix up. Long story short, he opened up the machines and you'll see right here, it's just like my vending machine in front of the lawn rat we do all the videos on, the um, bill acceptor and the coin um, vault on this machine was full of money. And he called me really excited. And since I am much more generous of a human being than the country of Spain is, I told him, why don't we just split the money that comes in from these vending machines that were just kind of like a treasure hunt? Um, we had no idea that there was going to be money in these machines. That was the Dixie Narco Pop machine. Here is, I think it's a row vending machine. Uh, Shane that works for me, he's starting up his own vending business with his son. His son's kind of involved in it. And these are freebies from Brandon's heart to his uh, to start his vending machine business. And he was really uh, honest with me to sh tell me that these machines were full of money. So I brought my video camera over here to show you guys if we could find any money in them. Um, long story short, on that end, he ended up calling me and um, he had already got uh, most of the money out of the machines, but he wanted to send me back and have me look at animal crackers like this. 
Um, and once again, these are just about as stale as the pop. They're not healthy. And the equipment's in really good shape. Um, this is a Mars bill validator, just like the one that I have on all my machines over the laundromat. So the machines are going to be very easy to be rebuilt. The snack ma machine's probably a little better than what I have. Um, but it, the parts are available for both these. The other one might have some compressor, issue, compressor issues. Um, if you notice, there's some ice and just some dirty nastiness on it. But both of these machines had money in them, and I was really excited about it. Um, he was even more excited about it because he got free vending machines. And just like the one that we do on my main channel, um, the main video is on. This has a profit hopper bucket thingy. And unfortunately, when I came over here and took a look at it, um, it's empty because he called me and told me, hey, um, Brandon, you don't really have to go over there because I've already taken the money to your office. So very excited. I went to the office and he even sent me a video from his phone of him digging the money out of the machine. So in that segment right back there, you'll see that we didn't have any money in it, but uh, he was kind enough to go through and document um, how much money was in it? So that is the reserve quarter hopper, and this is the primary one, and they had lots of quarters in them, so we took them back to the laundromat to count them and see how much they had. I have really great work, people that work for me, um, so we took the money back to my laundromat, and we counted it, and here goes in a couple seconds of how much tr money does a treasure hunt make, guys. First up, we found some rolled dimes and quarters. I don't know why they're rolled. 36. <laughs> So this was a snack machine, definitely the lower of the two, and we had $35.75. And of course, while I'm doing this, I have to go through my normal routine at the laundromat. Um, while we're doing the treasure hunt, I discovered we're out of quarters. I grabbed a lot of money. That video will be up soon. And on top of this day, we also went to the car wash and did some recording. This is gonna be a disaster. Oh, oh daddy, daddy! Okay. Daddy. <laughs> All right, let me help you put it in. So we came out to the parking lot and we got a bunch of bills that were from the machine. And we're gonna run that through the counter. So for the laundromat treasure hunt, we end up with 286 Pepsi machine quarters. We split the 210, 50, half and half. And make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so you can come back and see what crazy, awful, terrible thing happened to my brand new car wash. It's really sad, so if you subscribe, you'll get to see.